Hello and welcome to the It's A Funny All Life YouTube channel. So today I am going to be vlogging my day with North Liverpool Food Bank. I'm going to explain what North Liverpool Food Bank is and what my aims were for today. So North Liverpool Food Bank is, obviously it's a food bank in Club Moor in Liverpool, who are part of the Trussell Trust 11 food banks across North Liverpool. And they help to provide, obviously, p um, children, single men, single women, a family with four, three, two kids, um, build a family and keep the family healthy. Um, so they help with that, with um, delivering emergency food parcels, just food parcels, getting food stored. Um, and my aims was today was just, I wanted to, I went there to volunteer. I like help help out um help out in any way I could obviously um so I did I helped out and I was volunteering for the day and it was very good so on this on this video blog vlog I'm going to show you what my day was like today so thank you for listening to this and hope you enjoy the video. Right, so we are in the food bank. This is all the food. That we have to stack them all up. It's really interesting because obviously there's footballers that come in this one to deliver food and it's really hard for them to do. So listen to the podcast. Right, so I have to go and get a small crate with a blue handle. I can't seem to find it, but there's the only ones with them in is they've got stuff in it, um, so I just have to go. Use the black. No, that's our fault. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so on this clip is a woman who I worked with called Joan. She is explaining the how an emergency food parcel works. What will happen is the there's a prescribed amount of food this guy will get if he's a single person on his own or if he's a family with children. And we put that all together and I think that might be your job later. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to do that. Um, we put that all together and the drivers go and deliver it to them. Oh. Again, free of charge, you don't have to pay anything. So would you decide how much a certain person gets depending on what type no. of... Um... Come with me a minute. You're asking the right question, Sean. Right, so we've got So this next clip is me doing a bit of volunteering and videoing and showing all my viewers a bit of the volunteering I was doing. So I'll keep watching. I'm 
So this part is me stacking hot meat inside of the crates. Right, so I've got to get, so now it's my um, turn to do the hot meat, so I've got some of these, like this, like this, so that's this chili con carne, very much, put them in there, yeah. baked beans, no, that's not meat is it, like this beef ravioli, because that's, that's a hot meat, you stack it, stack it there. So what I'm going to do, there's two trays there, so there's one, yeah. both of them, I'm going to fill one tray up on the bottom, and then I'll show you the layer, what I've done, what I've done. Um, I'll time lapse this, so it goes faster. Right, so we've just finished the um, of this is hot meat, so I've just finished this, you've got to go past these here and you've got all your tin meat, so I'll be back with you in a minute. The crates. Mm. Two. So this next clip is just a time lapse of me doing more volunteering. So this was the day with me spending the day with North Liverpool Food Bank, or as you might, some people might know it as St Andrews Community Network. So I'm just going to explain my day. Um, so I, my aims were to do the vol volunteering, which I definitely surpassed. Um, obviously done some volunteering with like st with stacking things in crates. Um, we had to weigh them out just to see if they could go in the food parcels. Um. Stacking all types of things. I was getting crates, um, like just putting milk, um, orange juice, and then obviously at the end I had to do which the what um woman was explaining earlier on the video about um emergency food parcels. So I got like a list, um, like a checklist of what I had to, what I had to do basically, what I had to put in the in the bag for the person. So there was like, say for example, there was two tins of fish one bottle of juice and a couple of cartons of milk but obviously there was like a big massive checklist so there was quite a lot that i had to i had to stack so um i basically done that and obviously i got on my podcast um it's going to be like a small interview with one of the death advisors called emma so um, i'll add this into this into this clip as well and you can also hear it on my anchor as like a part two to my podcast with North Liverpool Food Bank. So thank you for watching this vlog. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe to the channel and see you all later. When did you start working here at the food bank? I started in St Andrews on the 8th of Feb 2021. Before that, I was a volunteer in Norris Green Jetter Place for... 18 months. Oh yeah, so as um, what have you been, well, since when you joined the North of Pure Food Bank or St Andrews Community, what have you, what's your job been like, what have you been doing here? So because of the pandemic we've been speaking to clients over the phone. So I've got some new clients, I've also been issuing food bank vouchers but my role mainly is to help people get themselves out of debt. As well, so that's like the money, are you a part of like the money? I'm the money team. Ah, oh, so... so... I'm a debt advisor on the money team and there's three other people who are money advisors, debt advisors and there's one lady who's a welfare benefits, so she helps people. So Katie, the benefits lady, she increases, maximises people's income 
if they're entitled and we reduce the debt. Oh. Um, therefore, it's, it's helping to stop the impact on the food bank and pantries. Right. Um, so is the debt of the debt advisor, is that, does that like help with the getting money together to get food or is that nothing to do with that? No, what we found is people with, who've changed from benefits or they're, they're waiting for benefits to come through or they've been furloughed, people who are working, they just, they've had to stay at home more so they're spending more money on food or gas and electricity or they've got kids to provide for so therefore food, you know, as much as it's a necessity, they're not getting enough of it basically so we've found a lot of people in need of food banks. Yeah, so how's the money, because of the corona and everything like that, how's the money situation been here at the at St Andrews? It's been quite steady, um, but we're hoping to start seeing people face to face as of next week, the 12th of April, and we are predicting there's going to be a big increase in people wanting debt advice because people have been living off credit cards or they've been getting uh, payday loans using the credit union. They've been living beyond the means because they've been trying to survive. Oh, so, okay. Um, so, what are you, so what are you hoping on the money situation come when we're off lockdown? Like? Um, we'll be doing appointments only until June when we'll start the drop-ins again. Um, next week I'm going out to the south of Liverpool to, to do appointments for the south of Liverpool pantries and food banks. So it's it's just it's basically reassuring people that it's you know, we understand why they're in debt, we're not judging them and we're there to help them get out of debt. Uh, so do we still by the time you were saying with the boat when we get off the lockdown and with the money, would you still have to use the vouchers that to get referred to a food bank? Would there always be? Would yeah. they always have to use vouchers? Always have to use vouchers because then we've got a record of um, how many people are using which food bank, um, and the types of people that are using food banks. So is it like a single pa a single parent with two children? We can record the you know whether there's a need for a pantry in that area as well. Um, which is run by the communities and we support set them up so yeah you still need a voucher and it's just so we can log how many vouchers we're issuing but apparently the Liverpool City Council are using us as an example of how to set up theirs. Right okay so thanks for speaking to you and doing an interview. Thank you. Thank you.